Hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Company. We are playing some more Humankind continuing here with our Dios de los Muertos campaign. And yeah, we need to get to 300 population, Brian, not 200, which I don't think is going to be that hard. Um, I mean, we are technically losing pops still. Um, I still don't think it's going to be that big of a deal as we unlock new buildings. And the worst case scenario is we like, so let's see, we were at what? Um, 83 plus 72 is going to be 155 and then 73 is going to be 228 so my keen is 48 so not quite there but i mean honestly that's going to be what we'll end up having to do is just keep getting more uh can you get more now hmm what's your harbor at 29 food probably not worth it 36 food you're a heavy unique villain okay so point being we need to keep growing our cities not that hard of a thing to do at least for us at least for us okay osmosis event uh religious you know what i will go ahead and enact this new Impressive. wonder can be claimed i don't really care about it crystal redentor is done that's good any confusion that's good so that's another holy site for us just for the record i don't know if these guys are gonna be in the combat i think yeah, I mean, I definitely should have, like, some armies up here. We're, we're going hard here, because we're going to go freaking take over Sus right now. I don't know if you're going to be in the combat. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, we definitely want you still to be in combat range. Let's put you here. Is this all my armies? Everyone's healed? Uh, almost. Healed, healed, healed. Okay. Okay. This does not leave us with a lot of territory here. That does not leave us a lot of spawning either. So here's the problem. This is actually inside a city. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. So he's actually, okay, I was wondering if he was gonna siege me down. He's not, so that actually puts us in a much better spot then. Uh, we'll go ahead and manual battle it. Cannons definitely sit up there. Uh, yo, put our other cannon right here. Uh, I mean, they can shoot up there too, which is fine. I don't know if they can get up that way. Looks like they might be able to. But anyways, we want the gunman in here. Can I actually spawn with you inside? Okay, because he can't normally enter the walls. So if we spawn with him inside the walls, there you go. Uh, whoopsie. Yeah, no, I want you like that and that. Okay, well, in deployment here. And I don't know what we're gonna do with you guys yet. So, well, yeah, let's probably spawn in ships first. You guys can take a shot right here. Then I don't have ability to shoot anyone else. Unless we came over here. So yeah, these guys aren't going to be that useful yet. You actually have vision right here. Interesting. The Carracks, I don't think, can really do much. Because we've kind of had that issue, or we kind of saw the AI with that issue as well. Carracks just really aren't that helpful. Um, they can't shoot over people, and they don't really do a lot of damage. So it's kind of like, eh, whatever. So we're just kind of spawning these guys in just to get them in. So anyways, you guys go like that. Okay. All right, wait, these guys aren't in the battle. <gasps> oh, no. Um, Probably doesn't matter. Nah, it doesn't, but dang. That's a lot of my army that's just now not doing anything. So remember, these guys can move and shoot. So we can break in. And we're going to shoot you here. Something like that. Just kind of spawning as many as possible. Uh, Looks like we're going to need one more. Oh, yeah. You know what? This actually makes more sense how I'm doing this. Uh, Hi. You should take a kill here. So I want to move him. So then I can get you in. No, can't do that. There's no path? Take Weird. 
I'm not quite sure why there's no path. That seems a little weird. We'll move you over here, take a shot. Uh, you already shot, didn't you? So then... All we can really do is just spawn out another guy. I could... Can't really go anywhere with you. So, I think let's just take the kill here. And then we still have two infantry we've not used. So there's one. And then the other one's this guy right here. So I should have shot with you here, and then I could have moved him here and actually could have done it that way. Yeah, that would have been a better option, but all right, well, next round. I mean, they have nothing. They have these crap infantry that are just gonna instantly, like, get murdered here. So I'm not that worried about it. Not that worried about it. You decide to attack out of the walls, that just doesn't seem like a good idea, but okay. You do you, bud. So, units are waiting your orders. Boom. Boom. GG. And there goes Sus. So, might want to use my other units to go take that other city. Just cause. I mean, I don't really need to. Let's we'll see where um, their war score is right now. Cool. Uh, Thebes. Yeah, cause I could definitely have you guys go hit Thebes. What, what are we looking at right now? Yeah, maybe not the worst idea. I say that actually it's gonna take a couple turns to get over there so eh. and actually these guys are fully moved even though they weren't in combat which is so weird <laughs> they act as if they were in combat but they weren't oh no okay so you finished another man of war actually I don't know when you finished that man of war but it wasn't just now we need pop here so give me the granary solo please solo uh, unclaimed wonders, I don't care about. We're not gonna worry about those wonders. Uh, we need food here. And we need pop, we need workers. I mean, grain silo, clearly. And then, yeah, we'll just pop out the quick harbor buildings. This one, I mean, it's industry is nice, but like, as much as I need the industry, I need pop more. So, right now, not as big of a deal. You're gonna need more food. Pretty quickly, so sure. Grab the food building. All of our, oh yeah. I was like, all of our freaking um, districts, cities all finish builds at the same time, which, you know, kind of makes sense when they're all working on the same thing, Brian, but you know, hey, whatever. Nia, Nessa. Pop out more food buildings. And you still have more haciendas, so. Be really nice if we could switch off the Mexicans at this point. And, you know, grab one of the late tier industry buildings or like one of the last tier um, uh, eras or sieves. Like, remind me, who was the food one in the end? China, right? In the last era? No, it's Brazil. Yeah. 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 Food per population. Oh. Oh. Oh, and then they get food on tile producing food. Oh man, the Brazilians would be so good right now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe I should just stayed in the other era <laughs> until until I decided that we no longer need to be in that era. I don't know. Uh, do you have any buildings? Yeah, actually, you have some hamlets. So let's pop out the hamlets then. Oh, I'm at my hamlet. Yeah, just pop them both down. You're still locked down too, but that's okay. Sus is mutinous. This is fine. Osmosis event. Free tech, actually. 23,000 on that research. Dang. Uh, and then we're going to win next turn. So. Do we go take his city over just for the hell of it? Yes. Can I get these guys close enough to actually come into combat? I think so. Yeah, these guys should all be close enough then. And then let's go get our ship up here too. And... I don't know if the ship is actually in range right now. There you go. We'll manual battle this. Um, this is a very strange deployment. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, this is a very weird deployment game. Where are the bombards? Put them on the top hill. Then again, you know, they can indirect fire. So yeah, put them over here. Then yeah, just give me all the gunners up here, man. Whoopsie. I don't, I don't, I don't quite understand why it put all our units weird positions, but that's okay. All right, just in deployment. Um. Oh wait, what? 
Oh, he's attacking me. Uh, so these guys are actually kind of exposed right now. Because this is like one big city. This is like, so, but the cities are actually merged. The walls do some weird things in this game at times, man. They definitely do some weird things. The thing is, these guys don't do any damage to us. So, you know, not really that scared. Is his fleet in on this? His fleet is not in on this. So let's take a shot here. And so we're basically just murdering his units so I can go break into the walls if need be. Um, Come shoot up here. I don't know if our characters are going to have any shots. You do, actually. Might be able to get the kill here? Maybe? Yeah, oh yeah, actually. And then yeah, Carrot can shoot there. And Carrot can come and shoot there. And then our other Carrot is basically worthless right now. But we can come sail around and get some vision. How about that? So we can now spawn out a bunch of dudes. So we'll go here, bring you up here, take a shot, murder you. You're dead. Life is wonderful. Um, go ahead and grab another dude. I can't move into the city. Uh, we'll go grab you, move you into the city. Take the shot here. Take the shot here. Yeah, because technically this is our city, Brian. So we can actually move through here and do some fun stuff. Um, what about the bombards? Might as well take a shot there. I should have started with this just because, you know... Your unit cannot attack this round. Unit cannot attack this round. Did you already attack? Ah, aha. So I'm gonna shoot there and then use you to shoot that. That works a little better. Then can I go get units inside here? No. What about this way? I can go over here. So they basically have two units left. Which is like, oh no, what are we ever going to do? Whatever. Just in ground. I have more than enough sh uh, stuff to kill them here. So, oh, uh, they have three units left. They have one other dude here. I don't know where he is. They have that guy here. Ah, uh, there he is. They're not going to be able to do any damage to me, so. I mean, I'm on a hill, too. That's like the other thing. So, it's like... <laughs> Not going to be a great day for you, buddy. Whatever you try doing. Think you might be dead? I need to get this thing going. Like, I need a little bit faster um, combat speed here. And you should be dead. And then we just need to kill the boat. Which, admittedly is gonna take a little bit apparently because all my units don't want to move really fast meh hmm yeah this sucks so you can come over here yeah it's gonna take another turn to get us over there isn't it so whatever run as far as you will go what about my ships? Can I get them over there in time? No. Get you guys. Just just move as far as you can possibly move, man. Ugh, I hate when it's like, nah, I don't know where we want to go. Just just move, just move. Okay, end round. They attack us. They attacked us, so we actually still have another turn here. Oh, you're not dead yet. I thought you were dead. So he's coming at my boats. No, he's running away. He's running away. No, he shot me. How dare you shoot me? I shoot you back. Okay. And there goes another city. Good. Good. Remember when you wanted to fight me, bro? Well, guess what? You're dead now. So we've taken over all your major cities. Let's do it. So, my keen, great for sure, yeah, 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 influence, stability. It's not really anything for pop here. I'm just gonna start popping out these buildings then. That's fine. Just work on them. 
Mutinous and Thebes. Okay, so propeller research, that's better ships now. Osmosis event, I will take that before we give it back, even though it's only 15 science, which isn't a lot. But, all right, war resolution is they're converting to my religion. Good. Then I can grab all of his crap. Thing is, I don't think I want to grab all his crap. Can I just vassalize him? 325. Dang it. Seriously? Seriously? I actually don't want this. Just give it back. <laughs> uh, I just want to vassalize him, man. God, look at how close we were to taking it. So I don't really want any of this stuff. I really don't. I guess let's take this. Your support, it is our rock in a storm. Okay, so I should now have the religion, theoretically, theoretically, but I didn't get the alert, which scares me a little bit. Um, pop out some of the earlier units here, because my, let's see, we can accept this. You're at peace with the Persians. So I can't demand religion, so they have to be my religion, correct? Also, we got the money here. Ironclads, ironclads, ironclads. So those guys actually upgrade the ironclads. The carracks go into the propellers. Okay. I actually kind of forgot what was what, but I'm gonna send you over here because I might want to go blow them up a little bit. We'll see. Um, You guys just go chill, chill. Now we are two cities over. Which, oh yeah, I can't actually enter their territory, Brian. Which is fine. Then you go join with this fleet or this army or something. I don't know. Um, you are going to go up to 100%, so you're perfectly fine. Just go work on the stability buildings for now. We're trying to get to next turn. Just to see if that actually triggers heal. If that actually you're triggers the... the only surviving one. Aha! Some learn to pray in order to get victory. Others get victory by learning to pray. So then, hypothetically, when we go to quit main menu, we should be done here if our religion's the only surviving one. Boom. Ha, oh, we've done it. Okay. So all we need now is the civics and the 300 population. Okay. Are we going to go ahead and win the game? Yeah, we might. We might. But there's no reason to win the game. Like, I'm mass recording this here before the end of the month. I can actually beat the game after the month. So that's okay. Um, we really need to just get the... Um, the... Uh, 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 the all the enactments. So I might have to spend some time off camera doing that just to get it up. We could go ahead... No, because I got to merge first. Yeah... Let's see, how much do we need probably to merge? Let's see if we can even get to 300 yet. So acknowledge, 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 whatever, whatever. Just, just, just I, whatever, I don't care, just accept. <laughs> I don't really, oh, actually that was a thousand. They were giving me 15 before that and I was like, I don't really care about your science boost when you're only giving me 15 per. Um, but yeah, no, a thousand, a thousand's acceptable. I will, I will live with that one. Where are you building? You're building over here. Sure, just pick a spot, that's fine. Uh, Parisa still needs more as well. In fact, yeah, that's it. So, then the Scythian Neapolis needs more jobs. These aren't really necessarily great. Let's do another food district for now. Because the farmer court only gives one. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely kind of a cap on the snowball here. Trying to get, like, all of your cities together. Or uh, to get them to like a thousand. So that's 18 and 28. So that's 36, 46. And then that would give us 74 plus 72 plus 83. So that's 17, um, 26, and 28. So we still need my keen. So anyway, 7, 14 plus 8 would be 7, 14, 21, 22. So we probably need another city of like 60 or so. 
which at this point would only be my keen. So you still need a lot more pop here. Mm-hmm. 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 So, change of plans. Yeah, because you're actually maxed on pop. So university doesn't really help us. So we just need to keep you growing. You are gaining food, but you're not gaining a lot of food. Probably can merge both of these, but God, that's gonna be so expensive too. So, 41 turns away from ending the game. At this point, it might just be a time because our science isn't really that great. Like we're nowhere close to actually the end of the tech tree. Yeah, actually, I think that is gonna be what's gonna end up happening then. Uh, Gnosis. We could swap some districts here, like, or the other thing is we absorb you two. It's 35K. It's probably easier to actually get you to the right size. That was 119 food. Dang. Actually, if I want to build another harbor, 32. Now, I think we still want the more jobs. Yeah, and we're just gonna rush these out. We're two cities over, not that big of a deal. Nessa, same situation here. I think keep building anything that's gonna give us more food, more pop, because that's what we need. More food, more pop. See, starvation. No, that's the exact opposite of what we want. We're also getting so many stars. Actually, you know what? We maybe finished the star ones. I still need, God, I still need, nah. Nah, because like we're so many uh, turns away from the stars here on the text. So I think we would, except we're going to miss those three. Uh, you know what? We could fix that, though. We could fix that. What is our science? 3,800. I feel like it should be better than that. You know what we could also do here? We could steal... It's gonna take from Hattusa. The thing is, I just don't have the jobs, so ultimately what's gonna happen is we're just gonna end up losing the pop. So it's gonna, like, if anything, kind of screw us over more than I think it would help us. So just keep popping out more farmer's quarters. I think that's about our only option. And just keep growing. Nationhood researched. Good, I mean, we don't really need any tech anymore, so microbiology is cheaper farmer's quarters. Oh, uh, you know what here? Scientific method for the fertilizer plant. Yeah. Mercantilism. These aren't jobs. Actually, no, that is a job. So we should grab that one. Two money per traders, one science per population. Ah, uh, you know, I need cabinet and curiosities. Yeah. All right. We'll go knock those out in that order then. You're going to go join him. And then we have an army of three here, which is going to be perfect if, you know, we ever get the ace slot. Actually, we have the ace slot. <laughs> When did we unlock the A-slot? We must have just unlocked it. Who doesn't have a cannon? You don't have a cannon. So go join them. And you have, like, stupid amounts of Dragoons, so I'm just gonna go Dragoon. Here. And then Dragoon. Here. And now our armies are, you know, somewhat balanced, except for the army that has 60 Dragoons. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. So, 800 food there. Oh my god. Just a bit, just a few, just a few. Um, I guess get more coal. And then pop out a hamlet or two. So we get the extra jobs. 77 food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty freaking good here, man. Definitely one of the craziest gigantic group of cities I think I've ever seen. It, it's a little psychotic, not gonna lie. So, stability per researcher, we get extra science here. That's 10% extra science. That's actually 20% science. Yeah, we need to knock that out. Um, my keen. Keep rushing out the farmer's quarters. Please. What do we need you? We know we need you probably. So, 8, uh, 7, 14, 21, 22. Probably need you closer to 70. Probably. Uh, do we have any new food buildings? No, not really. So, yeah, give me another... Boom. And the thing is, you're not losing pop, so that's good. 
and we probably are going to need close to 100k here probably about 80k let's be honest but probably going to shoot for 100k just because all right hamlets you got like one more i like that scythian neapolis is done with hamlets you were starving do we have we'll take the extra food because you know food is food and then yeah just give me the science and i don't know we need stability anywhere I don't know we need stability anywhere. Industrial silos. Seems like not a bad idea here. You could use some stability here. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out that as well. Just to give it a little bit more. Um, okay, so Hattusa. So we're at 85. You know, give me a calculator here. <laughs> 85 plus 73 plus uh, 75. It's 233. So that means I need you at 67 right now. Yeah, so we're at 285. So we're 15 pop short. Okay. Still got a little bit of work then. A little bit of work. Where are you? You're all of this. So yeah, grab that. Grab that. We're just going to build all the unique buildings here. What is your surplus of food right now? 282. Not bad. Part of the, well, a major part of that's because we are so far ahead in tech. So we had all those extra food techs that he had not revealed yet. And so all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's a lot of extra crap for us. Yeah, just knock out all those science buildings too. Converted to a new religion. Hey, nice. Nice. I mean, we're the only religion left in the game apparently. So open borders, I'm fine with. Uh, You know what? We can probably trade everything now. Yeah, whatever. So... We don't need this stuff? But then this makes sure that all my cities are happy, which then gives, what, an extra 10% gold or whatever it was from that wonder earlier in the game. So, also, we might be able to build a couple more of the mercantilism buildings. The, um... The ones that you can build when you have, what, three resources? Uh, okay, so I can't afford anything else right now, but that should definitely make sure all my cities go to 100. Yeah, see, you weren't at 100, but you're definitely going to be at 100 now. Still missing... Still missing a lot of jobs. Might want to, like... Actually, what was the grievance here? Oppression? To make your Give a cod. Again. Oh, no, nah, I'm going to renounce it. That's fine. No, I don't need to make demands of them. Okay, so science. We got another one here. This is good. We are still short a bunch of jobs, but that's okay. 85 pop is fine. Like, that's an acceptable pop for where you're at. Then get the grand solos, granary solos, and then, yeah, just pop out science buildings. That's what we need to do. So we're at 4,000 science. Okay. Scientific method is done which lowers the industry costs on researchers and it also gives us fertilizer plants and the symposium which i actually don't care about but you know the other ones nice uh go ahead and pop out the 10 food is that 10 food or 10 percent food oh god that's gonna be amazing oh yeah that's that's gonna be that's gonna be kind of good i like Keep in mind, we're making, like, how much food everywhere? Like, oh, that is psychotic good. Rush that out, and hey, go work on the fertilizer, please. Actually, you know what? You were almost done, so there you go. And then work on the fertilizer plant. So, I don't know what the total food is, because they won't tell you, but... It's gonna be stupid. Stupid amounts. <laughs> like, 10%. What the hell? <laughs> Give me the extra farmer slot, and then go for that. Okay. People are converting to Jeffism. We have literally nothing to do this turn. There's only 33 turns left in this game. Yeah, we're going to win a turn victory for sure. Unless, once again, our science just goes crazy. Which, slow, somewhat, somewhat happening. So, 86, 75, 78. Um, that's actually a lot closer than it was. Um, Claire, 86 plus 75 plus 78. 78, yeah. Plus 56 is 295 we're five pop off we are five pop off we're really close my keen is growing pretty consistently here fertilizer plant's gonna be nice these guys are all basically over job yeah so these guys aren't really gonna grow that much more i mean they are 
I say that, they really are. This one though, we still have, like you're not over pop yet, so. And there you go, give me the fertilizer workshop. And you know what, you can do the whaling as well. And then you can do everything else. Okay, so that's 57 now, you're now at 87, which you are losing a pop, so it's gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down. All good things must end, game will end in 30 turns. This is fine. Fertilizer plant, okay. And Nessa, we can't afford that one. So what do we want here now? Uh, give me the extra food on the water, and then yeah, let's do science, please. How goes stability? Stability is just absolutely still amazing. Okay, so give me the ground solo, give me the food, and then science, please. So Hattusa did finish. So it's going up and down right where it's at. Um, you did finish the harbor, so yeah, sure, finish the quick harbor buildings. And then yeah, give me the extra science buildings. And what are we at on tech now? 4,200. We're still so far away on those stars, man. Still so far away. Uh, you're gonna knock out these buildings because they're gonna take a while and then you don't have to uh, bug me with whatever the heck you need to do. Okay, so I think we might be good now. Microbiology, doesn't that also give us more food? I totally forgot that was still back there. Or did we, was it up, f where was microbiology now? Oh, it was up here. Uh, farmer's quarters, population consumption on city or outpost. One stability per population on all cities. Oh, that's just stupid. Negative 20% population consumption on city. Huh. I just don't know what that does, but okay. All right, one more time. So then. Oh, you know what we should be doing here? Enacting. No, because I need the influence. I need the influence. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, let's look at our cities real quick here. So, we're at 88. 88 plus 79 plus... Uh, 60 plus... 82. I'm one off. No, I'm at 309. Okay. Okay. Do we have enough influence to merge everything? Let's do a quick save here. Help me. Please. I think we got this, guys. Okay, um, so let's go merge. Absorb. Absorb. Well, that was an expensive one. I need 30, god, I need 20, freaking, ah, uh, it's so stupid. Okay, nope. How big's our city, just hypothetically speaking now? Um, 249. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. So all I want to do is I want to merge everything. Once we have the giant city, then I'm going to probably wrap up the episode once we get to 300. Then I think, um, so actually we kind of want the seas not to grow now, just FYI, because if the seas keep growing, they're going to be more expensive. But anyways, point being, at that point then, um, we're probably going to uh, turn off every one of our uh, things and then uh, 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 run them all again, like turn them all back on. Just kind of speed it up. So let's just go straight science here. You apparently don't have any um, adjacent research quarters here in Parso, which is kind of funny. Uh, Chartered Companies is now done. Good. This is fine. Um, pop out the food buildings. Yeah, this is all fine. 88K. I think it's got to be closer to 100K, right? I would think at this point. We don't have a harbor here. We still haven't built any of the, um, we never end up building any railroads whatsoever. A mournful song. We can ban whaling. Prosperous is money. Nah, we're not going to ban whaling, man. <laughs> I need the food, okay? Jeez, get off my back. Builder star is done. Okay. I mean, the amount of districts we're finishing is, you know, a little psychotic. Just like, and what's so great is like, dude, look, a thousand freaking industry. Like, oh my God. Like we're just cruising through these late game buildings, man. It's insane. So Parsa can go grab the next grain silo and then we can grab some of the later game scientific buildings. I do love how it's like, oh, I only have one science building to build here, but no, that's actually not true. You actually need like four more, but you know, 
you have to build one to actually realize it. So we basically only need a money star, a culture star, influence star, and then science stars, which once again, I don't think the science stars are gonna happen. I think we're too far away on that. Uh, hold up, I want this the other way. Do that, there you go. Do the one turn one. So I think we're gonna wait till we get to 100 plus K. So as long as we don't keep building food buildings, eventually our cities here are gonna stop growing. You're at 92? Okay, we actually don't need the third one now, do we? Yeah, we do, yeah, we do. Dang it, still too expensive, man. Wait, trader out? Who are you fighting? Welcome this opportunity for They're at war with English, oh, all right. I mean, it's fine. Like, it doesn't really matter to me at all. Uh, stability's fine. We're overpopped by a whole lot. Pop out the industry buildings then. It's actually two worker slots there. There you go. And same thing here, two worker slots. And then science in turn. So that's 99K, let's do one more turn here. Merchant stars unlocked. We're still just like, so the thing is, it's not so much I feel that we, um. I think we got to the last era early. Yeah, I think I think our science was fine, but I think we just rushed that last era so quickly that I think that's part of the reason we're so far behind still. Um, at least getting all the late game techs. All right, one more try here. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, let's see where we're at. See if we can merge everything. So Hattusa, absorb. I can't even absorb two cities here. Okay, then. We're gonna need our cities to, like, um, lose some population. How is one gonna go about losing population in the cities? I don't know. Is there a way to, like, make the merging cheaper? Perhaps? Or if I, like, reject all of our things, it wouldn't make merging cheaper, right? If I turned off all our civics? Like, watch us not be able to do this before the end of the game because we can't get enough, um, influence. <laughs> And our cities grow too much. Like, uh, whoops. Um, slight problem. Slight problem. Um, yeah. So none of these make this cheaper, right? Unbelievers, slaves, legitimacy. Attach city, absorb city. Just imagine. Once there you, you go. Writing, and that was only 3,000, so that is probably worth it. So let's have 52K now, 55K. I still can't afford it. You're at six. Why are you so expensive? I don't know. What if I do it the other way? That's 120 right here. Still not enough. You're almost at 100 yourself, which is stupid. So 50 plus 58 is still not enough. I need more culture, more influence. This is only two influence. So it's not worth building. Give me a freaking playhouse, man. Build every influence building that has ever been made, man. I think that's the new goal here. We need more influence buildings. We have money. So, isn't there a way to attach with money instead? Eh... Uh... Mmm, assimilate costs, paid wages, foreign investments, communal lands. Ah, allows attach and merge territories with money instead of influence. An interesting choice. Which if I did that, does that count with the absorbing? With interesting and unexpected consequences. It does. But that's money. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. So I think that's the play then. We probably merge one or two with influence. We probably have to merge two with influence and then the rest with money. Yes. So don't buy anything then. Um, cause we'll get like, cause what do we need? 58, we need 108,000 influence I think it was. So that won't be so bad. Okay. 
Okay, I think we can get there in like mm, 10 turns or so. It's gonna be a little bit longer of an episode. Then what we're gonna do is probably, like I said, put a pause and then go do eh, all the other things we need to do. So, um, I know the culture stuff, whatever. We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. We need another science. Is there anything that makes this cheaper? Absorbing cheaper. Plus one city cap. I mean, the city cap is good. Yeah, Hamlet industry costs would be great. We don't have any common quarters, so don't care about that. It's gonna make, it's gonna give us a lot of extra crap. Mm-hmm. Stability in cities on the occupation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trench warfare wouldn't give us anything. It's just fame. Mm, colony grid, no. 1% money. 25 science, just a plain 25 science. It seems not great. <laughs> like, okay, cool. More boost. Extra slots is nice. Stability. Yeah. Nothing that is like not super late game. So. All right. We know we need to get to 2.8K. We're making 5K a turn though. That's that's nice on the money. Would love it if it was like 10K. That would make life a little easier. So we're at 107 now. Um, I want money. I've changed my mind. Build me all the money stuff. And then pop down here and win science stuff. And money, money, science, 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 science. And if they lose pop, it's actually a little bit better. Okay, go ahead and accept. Lovely. We're going to win the game in 14 turns. Oh, okay. Cultural wonder. So we, we probably just need to win the game. Toy blocks and go crazy. So yeah, just Cultural keep advancing. In my considered opinion, um, one of your I didn't need that one. I don't want the barracks. A lot of fame building that monstrosity. Are they talking about wonders? Even I think he's talking about wonders right now. Any human built wonder is an impressive feat. Yeah, he's talking about wonders. <laughs> so let's just go Makes to the end of the game then. It. Let's just keep advancing uh, everything until we get to like the last couple turns. And then, hey, we won the game. And hopefully we will be able to afford to merge everything. Is the play. So not 100% sure we're going to be able to do this. It'd be really kind of funny if we couldn't. And by kind of funny, I might like throw something out the window. So the other thing is, it has ceiling pop doesn't help. Unless actually maybe that's the play. We could always then steal pop into our city. But the thing is, yeah, it doesn't help because like our city is going to be more than large enough. <sighs> yeah, because we still need one extra one. Because this isn't 200. So we're going to need four cities no matter what we do. Which kind of sucks. Uh, children's right. Uh, worker slot would actually be really nice. Or research slot would also be really nice. Don't really care about either of them, though. Pop out guerrilla warfare. That's fine. So I think at, like, one turn, we go ahead and see if we can make this happen. Okay, just queue everything up here. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten to a 4X game where I'm just like, whatever, just click. <laughs> I mean, it's not true. This has happened, but it's just like it kind of goes to show you how dominant we were. Artistic ownership, Academy of Arts, or Artistic Studio. Neither I care about. Seven turns. People are starving. I'm actually fine with that. <laughs> Please. I need you to um, lower your pop a little bit so I can actually merge these cities. Grievance available, guerrilla warfare, yeah, 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 just keep knocking out techs. How close were we to actually finishing this? Two techs. Two techs, two tech stars. Which ironically is like one of the ones that like every single game I ever play, that's like the one that I almost always get without any issues, is the tech stars. Okay. Three turns. Two turns. And, I mean, there's literally two turns left, so, like, whatever. Just build stuff. One turn. All right. Let's see if we got this. Okay. Here goes nothing. So, start with Hattusa. You know, we could maybe try some other cities. There's there's, there's going to be some sort of merge ability here. You know, because, like, the city's a little big. 
So if I had to merge four, would it not be better to be like 190 and then these two? That actually might be better. So it's 41.3. Then that's 87. That's at 64. Um, do I have enough then to switch this over to, I should. Uh, what was it? Uh, this one? No, oh no, we had to cancel one, right? No. Uh, 20% unabsorbed, no, 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 no. I mean, yes, that's the one we wanted, but uh, we wanted it with money. Communal lands? Yeah, here you go, cancel, An enact. Choice, which may lead okay, to a so then if I was merging you, unexpected consequences. oh, we did it, 356. Oh, look at that pop, dude. <laughs> you know what, F it. 363 freaking population. Woo! We did it, guys. We freaking did it. Okay. End your journey. This is your last turn. Congratulations, everyone. So we're going to go, um, what, two turns at the end of the game? Uh, whatever, just build some buildings. Uh, so I'm going to reload it, and we're going to end up First getting that last one, and we'll be back here, here in a sec. But peers. Without inflating your ego too much, it must be said that you have claimed the mythic place in the Yeah, I mean kind of. of human kind of. History will not remember you as a warrior or banker or farmer. Your fame was garnered more or less everywhere. Except for two science stars, man. You also gained fame from the construction of a wonder. Just one? Amazing. Congratulations. I had like ten. Remember when we were actually kind of behind in this game? That was kind of funny. Above and beyond all this, one thing you have left to pursue. Yeah, we didn't screw over the planet. That's one thing we still have yet to do is actually screw over the planet. I don't know. I've never really had that. Worth noting, you became the leader of a great religion. Congratulations. And the and only religion that's left. One for what it's worth. To your <laughs> oh my God, we have Part so much. Your legacy was being involved. Look at how large that city is there. Oh my gosh, like that is all the city. Which that wasn't ours, by the way, but under your guidance, the thrilling tale of humankind has been rewritten in your own words. Okay, cool. Congrats. Go us. Go us. Go us. Go us. So, I mean, obviously, we just absolutely destroyed here. It wasn't even close. Um, so we went Neolithic, obviously. Then we only got 40 fame in that era. Then we went Hittites, which actually turned out to be pretty okay. I think. I think that one worked out well. We're only at 1,200 at this point then oh dude we gain next to nothing here with the archimede persians eh, we got up to 29 okay nah yeah it was okay it started off really slow though then we went aztecs and we did fine yeah then i think this is where things started just bawling because we got stupid amounts of food as the Hadanese. I still think the Hadanese are just like OP right now. They just make too much food. And then we play as the Mexicans. Um, and I don't know if we gained that much in this era because we kind of bruised past this era. Yeah, I think that last era is when we gained the most. So if we skip. Um, longest ideology, homeland, longest war. But I mean, just look here at the fame jump. I mean, it's pretty consistent all the way through, but look how far behind we were. But this is when all of a sudden we started taking over. Okay, so we want to quit some main menu here. Extras. We have you all done. So all I need to do is enact 50 evolutions. So give me one minute um, and I'm going to do some cheesy stuff and we'll be back and we will do that. Um, and we'll you know basically win the game. Give me one sec. All right, I think we've done it. So essentially, I just went through and canceled all our civics and then just rebought them. Um, and I think I found a bug because while doing it now, all of a sudden, all my civics only cost like seven each, which seemed a little weird. So that didn't count any of them. Interesting. Okay, give me a second and we're going to try this again. I wonder why that didn't count any of them this turn. Hmm. I don't know. Give me a minute. I might have bugged it again. All right, guys, so I literally have tried everything. I reloaded into the game like 100 different times, restarted the game, ended up creating another game, ran quite a few eras and got absolutely nothing. Ended up pulling up the uh, website, and apparently this is currently a bug that a lot of people are actually stuck on, that they said they're working on trying to get let you finish it, but like, 
you know, with only like a day left here, you know, I'm a little scared that I might miss out on this. I'm gonna be really pissed off, really pissed off if I don't get this. All the work I put in to not get this, you know, because of a bug. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. But anyways, you know, I guess that's going to be the series for now. I might give you guys an update or something to show you if we ended up getting it. But it's kind of disappointing because I really want to be like, hey, we actually did it. Yay. Happy. But, you know, we're still going to have to wait. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the series. This was a bit of a weird one, a bit of a strange one. But, you know, fun thing to do, I guess, this month of November. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, all the fun stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.